Hey guys, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Head to Head. My name is Green, and with me, as always, is my co-host and bitter rival Zen from his channel Zen and Cyrene. How you doing, Zen? I am doing well. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. So, are you ready to get started, Zen? Yes, I am. Alright, three, two, one, go. So, the setup we have going on here is we've got enough Sacred Hearts to make it so that our tiers do not move at all, but they'll still home in on enemies. Which means that uh, we have to kind of get close to enemies and then drop tears and then they'll seek them out. And that's how we're going to get through this. And it's, uh, it should be interesting at the very least. I'm not really sure how exactly this is going to work. We're also, we're only allowed to take health upgrades and speed upgrades. So that's going to be a thing as well, I guess. I'm not sure how balanced that's going to be. It se that seems pretty harsh to me so far, but we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Did he say? Did the challenger say anything about hybrid items? I'm going to guess that's not allowed, right? Like meat, um, uh, meat for example. Yeah, we probably shouldn't take those. Yeah, oh, man. that's what I'm thinking. Famine is causing me some issues. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna like build up a pile of tears and then try to make him charge them. The just these these flies he keeps spawning are throwing a wrench in the works. Okay, here's an issue. TNT okay. is causing some issues for me. Like, oh, there's, some, there's some enemies that are blocked by TNT, right? Yeah. <laughs> I so, cannot get to them unless I blow up, unless I use my bombs to get to them. Hmm. You, you might be able to blow up the TNT in your face as well. <laughs> but no, I'm like, actually... You're, you're standing right there and it won't home? No, it will not, ho it will not hit the TNT. I'm actually walking to the TNT. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, I was actually theory crafting about this beforehand and I didn't talk to you about it, but I was thinking if we get into a situation like that, because I thought that was possible, we could just spawn a death card and take okay. out the room that way. Yeah, that's That way we can enough. keep things moving. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, see, gift trinket card. Yeah, I can spawn myself a death card. Alright, awesome. Yeah, because there, there will definitely be, definitely be times where this is a little bit not as the game designer intended, shall we <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go fight the boss. Yeah, I'm fighting fucking Duke of Flies again. This is the, the same boss that I fought in my test run beforehand. Right. And he, uh, oh, he's going a little bit better this time. But uh, still, the flies do a lot of effective tanking for him because I can't possibly shoot around them. Right. Yeah, yeah. This this is going to be kind of a. It might end up being kind of a tricky challenge. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. We we were talking about. We weren't really sure how exactly. Ooh, don't pick up that shot speed up. Definitely. Uh, we were talking about how difficult this challenge might end up, and ooh, speed up. Excellent. It is just so like I. almost completely unpredictable. <laughs> like I, thought... I I have no idea how this is going to end up in like the depths. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get to mom's heart and see. If we so end just up, to uh, let you know, yeah, I'm fighting a champion Gertie Jr. for my oh, boss. Oh, fun. That's <laughs> a, it, actually, I don't think that's too bad because you can just, he'll chase you around and you can drop a yeah. bunch of things in his path. Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. true. Okay. Because right. there's a lot of damage here. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a matter the... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, this is the one that seems to have a lot of health, so it's taking mm. me a while. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, there's a lot of damage here, it's just a matter of actually getting your tears to connect with things. And I, I find that, like, the easiest enemies are the ones that come at you, so you don't have to walk too close to them. Right. Magic 8 ball, is that a shot speed up? Um, yes. Yeah, definitely don't. Yes. In fact, we, we can't pick up anything but health and uh, speed anyway. Yeah. Ah, oh, Krampus. So. Okay, well. This is a total speed bump for me because... Yeah, that really sucks. Uh, Lump of Coal would be really good with this challenge, too. Yeah? It's unfortunate. Alright, so let's see. I rewrote Kettle Ninetales into Magic 8 Ball, unfortunately, so... I really want health. See if we can find some of that. Oh, come on, Krampus. It's hard to get near Man. Krampus is the issue, because he's not chasing me around. I believe there's two tinted rocks on the- yeah, two tinted rocks on this floor, no bombs with which to access them. Hmm, good. That sucks. Oh well, on to Curse of Darkness Caves 1. Fantastic. 
It's so hard to get close to camp to Krampus to hit him because. Oh man, yeah, that must be awful. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. He does. It does he even do the chasing attack from the fallen? I I don't think so. I mean, yeah, I don't I've think he really does either. Now that I think about it, but... yeah. Uh -oh. I basically have to dance around him and duck out of the way just in time. Yeah. To, to avoid his attacks. I'm not doing a good job of that at all, fortunately. And the damage isn't all that great. Honestly. Because... Uh, yeah, it's less boss. less impressive than I was thinking. Yeah, so we were thinking about going to Mom's Heart for this particular challenge. I think that's actually very uh, appropriate. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> this could be a tough one. Right. Especially since it's going to start getting really dangerous having to get this close to enemies later on. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see. I think what I need to do is to, to run around campus in a circle. I'm about to die, by the way. Oh, I'm at one and a half hearts, so almost, well, one heart now. Oof. Yeah, Krampus is a rough start. Oh, this is... This is a bad room. I can't get okay. close to these guys without taking damage. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, oh. there's, there's nothing I can do here. I just gotta run at him. Right. Alright, I think Die. I need to explain. Die, all of you. <laughs> oh my god, my tears just are not homing on them. What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They're slowly drifting. Okay, yeah, here's here's the rub right here. You cannot home tears onto things that are standing above pits. Oh, okay. So I have to get these floating heads. Yeah, there we go. Man, I took a lot of damage in that room. <laughs> that was unexpectedly brutal. This is, I like challenges like this where you, you find challenge where before there wasn't any. Like, you walk into a room and you're like, oh, your, your conscious brain is like... Oh, there's no problem here, or your unconscious brain, I should say. It's like, right. oh, I've done this room a million times, and then you start trying to do it, and you're like, wait a minute. Fuck. Right. <laughs> what do I do here? Alright, I shall come back for that, that eternal heart later on. I'm going to go re the boss item. There Hopefully get a health up out of that. I think I will explore the cell XL, even though it's going to slow me down significantly, because I'm not in good shape here. I'm not sure why you would explore the floor though, because like it's very unlikely to find anything from that we can pick up besides from the boss, isn't it? Um, that's true. I was thinking about health, but then I see that I I have one and a half hearts in the in the boss room, so I might as well just move on. Oh yeah. But I did get an eternal heart out of exploring a little bit, so so. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I'm going to take that. I do need the health, and we're going to move on. What did I vivo? Um that item into I didn't even look at it just thinking about what you were saying let me go have a look and I was kind of also hoping so that I could get a d6 charge to revo wait for into something else meat I cannot take that because that's not a pure health up yeah that's so unfortunate so we go oh right let's see hmm yep I see I'm having the same problem as you are here in that in that the, the the tiers will not go across gaps. Yeah, I don't think it's across gaps. Like, oh no, or, or will they? Yeah, I think oh, it's just. Never mind. Yeah, when the enemy is standing over the gap, then the, yeah, they yeah. just won't go. Yeah, you're right. Actually, my tiers are crossing the gaps. I'm just not close enough to the enemy. Mhm. Mm go for it. There you go. Two bombs for the price of one. Yes, for sure. I got a feeling I'm going to need those bombs eventually. Curse of darkness, huh? Hmm. Let's see to trying Damn to destroy it. these fellas. Rerolled into Cat of Nine Tails. Yep. The yep. one item that would like totally fuck this cha challenge up. Well, I, I say the one, but any item with shot speed up would totally fuck this challenge up. Because it would make your tears uh, like move anyway, even though they're supposed to stand still. Right. Sure. See, I thought this room would be horrible because it's full of chub dudes, but actually it was really easy to just kite them around. Oh god. Oh god damn it. Oh, he's a, he's above a gap right now. Okay, I need to get him out of the, the gap area before I start firing at him. Okay, oh, able, um, not able, the trinket that goes, uh, blue baby so yes, took care of that for me. Oh, oh man, god. you have a shooting trinket? 
You were yeah, so but, lucky. Yeah, but his shots also do, uh, have the same behavior as mine. Oh, really? They don't yeah. move? Yeah, they don't move. Oh, that's really fascinating. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the the nice thing about Ghost Baby is that he actually is flying, so so he can move into places that I cannot move to. Oh, not Ghost Baby, sorry, um, Blue Baby, so... Yeah, that's really nice. Let us go. look in here. This. There we go. I don't know why I'm even too, bothering man. to go to item rooms here. Like, I'm definitely not going to get anything out of them. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much like Thanks. less than three. Is the only item I Because, can... like, I've already gotten the spoon. Rosary, maybe? That's neither That's a health up nor a uh, speed up. Not really a health up, huh? Yeah, I guess I was the thinking about it because yeah. it gives kind oh, of gives health, yeah. but I was thinking the relic when you said that for some reason. But yeah, I just I wouldn't really call it a health up. Yeah. Alright. I don't want to get too close to the meat. It's unhygienic. Full of E. coli. Get in here. I'll give you my meat. Oh god, here we go. That's no that no E. coli there. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the microbiology professor? The the one with E. coli and stick. No, not oh god. Okay, um, hmm, I'm about to die because I was thinking about this. <laughs> and I picked up small rub also by accident. Oh so no, that's a blue baker there because I was trying to run away from mm. from um, understandable from pestilence here. Okay, I'll tell you about the the microbiology professor as soon as I'm done with this. This I can't wait. Problem I have. Yeah, Stay then, tuned, oh, viewers. Okay, I did die. Mm. Okay, so so I died. Uh, let's talk about the microbiology professor. So when I was in college, I did actually take a course in microbiology, and we had this professor who was kind of interesting. Um, so E. coli, for those of you who don't know, is a bacteria that is that tends to hang out in the digestive systems of mammals, including cows and humans. And you can find them hanging around your rectum. Well, some people's rectum, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to prove this, that a lot of people have E. coli on them, and not, and it's not just this scary thing in the news that hurts people. I mean, it totally is, but there are lots of harmless, relatively harmless strains of E. coli as well. The professor told us that we, in the lab, should take a sterile stick, like a, a <laughs> almost like a cotton bud, right? Mm -hmm. Go to the bathroom. Stick it up where the sun don't shine, and come back and put it on a culture plate and see if you can grow E. coli. Wow, that's uh, that sounds like quite a class. <laughs> it was quite, <laughs> quite a class. I'll tell you something: people weren't really looking at each other when they walked back into the lab. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this room is fucking impossible. I'm gonna die here almost for sure. It's the room right before the boss. If it was any other room, I would bomb my way out. That's how impossible this is to get through. Oh, man. Right. Don't what, hit me. what is it? There's like three of the walking... Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, three of the walking Epicac nub guys. Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about? Like the green nubs. And they yeah. were standing on a platform in the middle, so I had to be in a really specific spot to... Right. Um, wow, I got less than three out of my first item room. Uh, wow. I had to be in a really specific spot to actually hit them, and every, every right. time I got that close, it was like, I got exploded, so. Yeah, 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 that's took, tough. Took a lot of damage there. Yeah, this is a tough challenge, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even certain that Mom's Heart is going to be reasonable, but it's like, it's it's weird because it's just those certain rooms that are really difficult. Yeah. It has little to do with how far yeah. in the game you are. In fact, I bet the womb is going to be substantially easier. Because there's no bottomless pits there. Right, and right, right. there's no like enemies stuck in the middle of a platform. And those seem to be by far the hardest rooms to deal with here. Right. So which floor did you reach in your run just now? I believe I was on the Catacombs 2. Yeah, catacombs yeah I definitely two. was. Okay, so you've beaten me so far. Let me think about this. Angel runes. Do angel runes have any pure health up? I don't think so. Mm -mm, no. I'm not mistaken, they don't. Yeah, Just definitely going to peek not. Into anyway. Ooh, the relic. I cannot take that, unfortunately. We're going to reroll oh, the uh, mom's lipstick here for meat. You know what? I'm going to see if I can recharge my D6 and see if I can oh. get shot speed up or health. So I'm going to walk around the rooms for a little bit here. 
Not shot speed up. I'm sorry, speed up. Speed up. <laughs> just uh, just want to make up. absolutely sure. Leg speed up. <laughs> Leg speed up. Destroy these fellas. I'm probably just going to save my keys for like golden chests on the off chance that uh, Red Hard or, or So Hard will come out of those, or even bombs. So get a feeling I might need all, at, or any of those. Man. Oh my god. It's another one of those situations I have no bombs. Uh -huh. And there are tinted rocks fucking everywhere. And I want to finish uh -oh. this floor just to try to find bombs now. Right, right, right. Jesus Christ, there's three tinted rocks on this floor. And it's one of those things where like I could spiral out of control if I just get one bomb, because then a tinted rock could give me a further bomb. Not a key! I already have four keys! Oh no! I have five keys on the basement too. When does that ever happen, except in a run where item rooms are effectively worthless? <laughs> <laughs> of course! Oh my god! You gotta what? be fucking with me! The last room, I get a bomb, it's in the middle of a bunch of rocks, so I'd have to use a bomb to get to it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> well. Alright, well, on we go, I guess. Yep. What okay, fuckery? I'm fairly sure. Do I even want to go into, into. I was going to say into the kitchen, goodness. Into the secret room. <laughs> <laughs> go into the kitchen. What am I even thinking? Oh, that is, let me think. That's weird that your brain thinks of the secret room and the kitchen in the same <sighs> breath that way. Yeah, I know, right? Yep, yeah, strange absolutely. association. My, Exactly, my kitchen has a secret room in it. Oh, nice. For sure, yep. I you know, nice there is... A secret room. There is a company that... I think there's a company out there that will design and build a secret room for you in your house. What? I think so, I'm trying to remember if this is true. Now, it's I been mean, at least seven years since I read about this. I guess it makes sense. Kind of. Yeah. I guess I should really go to the item room just in case. See, Caves XL. Uh, Man, I, I almost, I want to go into the library to see if I can get, like, the anarchist cookbook or something in there and then use it, but then, that, like, that feels like cheating because I'm not allowed to pick up any items. Yeah. W yeah would using I, a spacebar item once count? I don't know. I think using a spacebar item once is okay. Oh, good, I'm yeah? out of bombs. Right. God damn it, game. I need two bombs. This room has seven cents and an eternal heart in it, but, like, I don't have any bombs to get to any of those. Uh, yeah, I could I could use a bomb to get to a locked chest. I could, Oh, I got the Book of Anarchy. Uh-huh. Alright. I think this is probably the best room to use it in. Probably. Because there's a locked chest and a normal chest and a tinted rock, all of which require bombs. So just give me one of them. I injured myself. I got to the oh locked chest. God. I didn't pull up the tinted rock. Oh, oh, I got two additional no. keys! <laughs> I think the game, yeah, the game is just screwing with us today for sure. Yeah. Two books of Belial, thank you. Glad I re-rolled those books in the hopes of getting like Book of Sin so I could get a bomb out of it. Fuck me, man. The the bombs <laughs> did not open up the tinted rock, did not get to the other chest at all, and got uh -huh. me to one locked chest that contained two keys. Oh god. So how many keys <laughs> do you have now? I have four keys. I have three uh, cents. There might be a bomb on sale in the shop. Let's go for it. Let's fucking go crazy here. I don't know. I'm <laughs> spending so much time on this basement, too. <laughs> Just trying to make this work. Yeah. Okay, we've got, uh, uh, there's a full price bomb, and I can't, I can't use my tears to hit the spire. Fuck it. I'm not leaving. I'm going into this, uh, this bloodletting room. I'm going to start blowing spear arts. Give me a chest. <laughs> yeah, give me a locked chest. Two bombs! Two bombs and ten cents. Oh, good. Which I can use to purchase an additional bomb if I need there to. There you go. Worked it's out. I spent a well lot of spirit out. hearts on that. Uh, I got the small rock. Can't pick that up. Map is also not allowed. Okay, so I only have one bomb and all these awesome things I could use a bomb on. Haven't been. Tinted rocks. I have two small rocks. Two, two, yeah, two. That's okay, two of the uh, yeah, the tinted rocks gave me small rocks because I didn't okay. pick up the first one. Oh god, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, why did I do that? Give me a bomb. Oh fuck. 
think it was three keys. I should go into the item room just to see what's oh, up. Balls of Steel is probably better than whatever that Tinted Rock would have given me anyway. But I'm now out of bombs again. I got most of the Tinted Rocks. That was silly. That's... that's <laughs> good. Now I'm back onto Caves XL. Okay, that's where I am at the moment. I guess I'll go to the shop and see if I can buy a bomb. I've got three keys on me. Oh god, I'll get hit by a fly cousin, sure. Okay, play it a little bit smarter. Let's trail shots behind me. There we go. Yeah, okay, this is not too difficult of a room. I just need to run around these fellows until they die. Damn it. Judge ah. huh? Damn it. Judge Damn it. <laughs> I took so much damage in this room. Judgment might give me bombs. I am going to play Judgment in the boss room though, because well, Judgment may give me a health up then. I should probably pop in here. Two books of sin. Uh, okay, see so if we can destroy that tinted. that, um. What's the name of that fella? Ifu Wu's guy, yes, that's what Ryan calls him. Mm hmm. Still don't know what their real names are. Oh, I've forgotten. The enemies Globins. in which Globins, yes. The enemies in which I learn the names for and then I forget over time. Like the pooters, right? The flies are called pooters, and I was saying pooters, pooters, pooters all the time when I was uh, <laughs> when I was well, not in real back life. Back in the old days. Yeah, back in the old days. Yeah. Uh, but then eventually I just started calling them flies again. I don't know. Wait, which ones are the pooters? The the ones that shoot two tears? Uh, I think that's a double pooter. I, I don't know. Double pooter. All the way across okay, the sky. <laughs> yes, all the way across the sky. Yeah, oh, imagine yeah. That. So intense. <laughs> are you are you singing the the, shmo, the shomoyo version of that? What? Like the the songified version of that, of Double Rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Is there another version? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know whether <laughs> you're singing or you were or you were actually reciting it the same way the guy did. Because it's been so oh. long since I watched the video. No, the guy says it. It, it could not be mistaken. The two versions. <laughs> <laughs> Spent way too long in this room. There we go. Finally, I got a pill for that. What's this pill? Fans to the end, okay. That's fine. The right. original video is really good, though. Yeah, it is. I like that a lot. <laughs> it's been a long time since I saw that. Me too. I should just go back and watch every funny video on the internet. I know, right? What could go wrong? Sometimes I do that. Really? Not it's everyone, but you know, <laughs> not all of them, but... Uh, but sometimes I do go back and look at old videos, which I found funny like three years ago. Mm -hmm. see, yeah, I do that funny, too. And they usually are. Yeah, recently uh, people were tweeting about the Super Spice Brothers is what it's called, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love that video so much. I ended up watching was... it like five or six times in a row. I think, this, was this, this like almost a year ago now? Probably, yeah, maybe even more than that. Oh my god, this room's gonna suck a lot. Oh, come on. Is it even possible? And then hmm. you tweeted and reminded me of the uh, the Wendy's training video. Was it Wendy? <laughs> yeah. I think it was Wendy's. I just woke up with that stuck in my head one day. Yeah. I blame it all uh, on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, I have found an impossible room. I'm gonna have to death guard it up here. Uh, cheats. Oh my god, I am just getting killed by Globins here because I keep getting too close to them but not running away in time. And I've and explored almost the entirety of the case XL here, not voluntarily, but because I just couldn't find the boss room. I have just found the boss of my caves XL. So we're back neck and neck now, I guess. Yeah. Pretty much. For those of you who have no idea what I was talking about earlier, the, the Wendy's training video is this incredible, like, 
training video about how to serve drinks if you're a worker at Wendy's, but in a kind of a R&B song style? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> this, this guy just sings this, like, smooth, loving rendition <laughs> of how to serve hot drinks. Wendy's, it's excellent. Man, Gertie, you have to get real close for your shots yeah. to actually hit it. This is oh, real, this room is going to drive me crazy eventually. God this damn. is interesting. I had no idea how small Gertie's hitbox was. Like, yeah. just, I have to stand like right inside her. Mm. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is driving me nuts right here. Oh because it's one of those 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 misshapen enemies that shoot flies at you. Mm -hmm. But all my shots home towards the flies and not towards the enemies. Yeah. And they're protected by gaps, so I cannot get close to them as well. Welcome to my struggle when I was fighting Duke of Flies. Oh. Uh, should I just... I only have one bomb, that's the issue. It waste a bomb to try to get close to them. Shit, okay, I'm gonna have to like sit back and let this nub finish ah, off it. dirty for me. <laughs> fine, fine. I will use the bomb to get close to them, and then after that, I will destroy them. And now I don't have any bombs. It worked! I'm a fucking genius! Oh, I do? I got my bomb back. Oh, fuck. Hermit would- oh god, I'm, okay, I'm about to die. This goddamn flies! I'm about to die as well. <laughs> this room is real g goddamn hard. Gertie's dead, and still, just all of her little minions are causing severe issues for me. Almost! Almost died there. Oh, Very close. Jeez. I did die there. The oh, issue no. there was that was that if I got too close to the enemy, I would end up picking up the tarot card and going to that vic that Yay, I got oh, it post yeah. and then getting hit. Zeldaing to death. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Well, Twenty seven minutes folks. We haven't made it past the caves yet. At least I caught up. <laughs> yeah. Now I can carry the hopes and dreams of the audience who want to go home before 45 minutes. <laughs> Say, picking shears, let's reroll that and see. Let's pick it up, put it down, reroll it and do something else. Ah, the mitre. Fantastic item. I cannot take it. So what did we decide? We have to get all the way to Mom's Heart? Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Yep, that's, yep. Surely that's going to happen. Definitely. We're definitely not going to end up both dying a couple more times and then calling it at 45 <laughs> minutes. There's no chance of that. Boss is... Gemini who dies very easily to this setup. I'm not complaining about that. I have motherfucking peep. After oh, Gertie. No. Gertie was also a horrible, horrible boss to fight, it turned out. But peep... Maybe worse? Maybe worse. Maybe better. Oh my god. Not better if I just dodge right into his shots. There we go. Get health up. That's certainly what I want. Oh, basement one. I kind of feel like I need to look for bombs. I've been I've been kind of conditioned into this state in which I'm thinking, yeah, I need bombs. So Peep is kind of a double-edged sword here, because he puts down that creep and that makes it impossible to hit him for a while. But then, right. when he jumps at you, you can just have a big pile of tears and it'll j land right on them and do take a ton of damage from that. But his goddamn eyes, I just realized, now that there are eyes floating around, totally take tear aggro so you can't do that. Fuck. Right. The second half of this fight is going to suck a lot. Oh Stay no. Stay away from- No eyes! The, I had like five tiers stacked up. He was about to land on them, and the eye came close and took them all. Yep. The eyes are there. It's almost like they're designed to make this challenge a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect for fucking up this precise run. Oh no. Come on, eyes. Oh man. He's nearly dead. I've got two hearts left. I can make this happen. I, th I think I'm gonna win, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last after this. Sorry, that guy. Yes, I got him. Got a you got motherfucking it. cat of nine tails for my trouble. <laughs> wow, alright. Yeah. I guess I'll use my one key to access the slot machine. I'm glad the game made that decision for me. <laughs> Just one of those rooms where you walk in and immediately use your key. Right, right. I guess I'll play it. What do we got from this pill? Range up. 
That could actually be really good for this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they will stay in there longer. I yeah, guess? exactly. So I can, like, in situations like that peep fight where I was just making piles of tears and hoping he jumped onto them, I would do a lot more damage there. Right, right. Oh, that was real close. Oh, God. Taking a lot of dumb damage there. Have the enemies kill themselves. Thank you. How much of right Grim up. Dawn have you played? I have played up to um, level. Uh, my character in Grim Dawn is level ten. Okay. Yeah. So so I would. I don't know how long that is in terms of real hours, but uh, yeah. I, I, I'm not. I didn't just start it. In other words. Right. I think I'm like level twelve at this point. Played a bunch of it oh, today. It's real. Really? Fun. Yeah. Yeah, it is real good, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. So, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about here, Grim Dawn is the successor, the spiritual successor to Titan Quest, which in itself is one of the better Diablo clones that were made. Yeah, it's really good. It's uh, I would compare it pretty closely to Path of Exile, in that it's like uh, this is what we wish Diablo three was like, game, and uh, it's it's fun. I've been having yeah. a good time with it. It's interesting. I don't yeah. know if I like it better than Path of Exile. I think. I do, but only because Path of Exile has some netcode issues that kill me constantly, so I had to stop right. playing that game. So it's nice having something else to to play with. Yeah. But it's very, but it's very much a Diablo-like, and it's like, oh, I'm fighting a bunch of zombies because something evil is happening. Yep. Exactly. And I'm this random hero who nobody knew, but is suddenly a hero. God, these so zombies are the worst. <laughs> The the distinguishing feature of Grim Dawn and in fact of Titan Quest is that at level two you you pick a class and then in Grim Dawn at level ten I think you can pick a secondary class and mm -hmm. you can mix and match. Yeah, you can uh, hybrid it up. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. I've been playing uh, Nightblade, which is like pretty much a rogue, but not really like almost like an offensive mage. It's fun. He's he's got a lot of like AOE spells and right. Um, like poison and stuff like that. He's got this one really cool aura that just, if you're really close to an enemy, and it works on you know as many enemies as are close to you, they all take some debuffs. Like they they'll do less damage and move slower and attack slower and stuff. That's really right. cool. Right. Definitely my my kind of class, which is good because I just chose it because it sounded cool. <laughs> Who do you play? I played the um I, I forget what the name of it is the the range character the gunner type. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, he's like a demolitionist, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah. I think he has a bunch of fire and explosives. It sounded like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't remember what my reasoning was. I think my reasoning was that in Titan Quest, at the very least, there there were some bosses in which uh, in which being a range character certainly helped out. And this being done by the same people who did Titan Quest, I decided to go for a ranged character. Holy fuck, man. I've been in this room this whole time we've been talking about uh, Grim Dawn. I th yeah, I think I started talking about Grim Dawn in this room. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still fighting this one last zombie because it's completely RNG as far as I can tell whether the shots managed to hit him from the side as he walks past and they just haven't been doing it to this guy. Ouch. Yeah, Jesus. I'm stuck in this room too. Fucking Christ. Uh, Hit him. For those of you wondering why I'm just walking, I was walking around like an idiot just now, just round and round, it's because Cyrene was whispering to me. Mm. <laughs> oh, nice. there we go. Yeah. Oh my. So that's fucking god. <laughs> just going to stand here. <laughs> this is What's ridiculous. Wrong? The knights? Just this one last night. Yeah, I killed all the other ones. <laughs> it took a long time to kill the other ones, but I got him. This last right. one took forever. I finally just got him. But it was getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm kind of standing here in the corner, just hoping my tears will get through. It's yeah. my high school experience. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> like standing in the corner, hoping my tears will get through. Just the image of that, just, I don't know. <laughs> it's very sad, and I love it. <laughs> No, but anyway, Grim else. Dawn, the reason I brought it up is because we might do it in a future Green vs. Zen, but it doesn't have multiplayer yet, so we got to wait, wait yeah. on that. 
Yep. But I was eager to talk about it because again, I spent a lot of time playing it today. It's fun. I, oh, I'm man. easy to get sucked into the early game of ARPGs. They, like I, mean, I really enjoy them until they start actually getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> I found another room full of fucking zombies. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use a bomb to get these three bombs. Oh, and I killed him too. Excellent. Now I have three bombs, so I can bomb myself out of future rooms like that. There we go. Yeah, y'all talking about Grim Dawn makes me want to go play it, which is not going to happen tonight because I need to play um, Gold Simulator. <laughs> I just already got a busy night ahead of you, I see. <laughs> yep, just <laughs> goats. Yeah. Let me know how that is. I'm, I'm curious about it. Not curious enough to purchase it, but curious enough to want to hear about it. Right. The relic again cannot take that. We will... Oh! Of course! You... We, little chat, we will the little chat. That's real silly of me. Um... I think I'll go down to the next floor. Now let's look around. Yeah, Gold Simulator is one of those things, as I was talking about earlier. Uh, it just seems to be a perfect fit for my channel. So yeah, it really I'm... does. It fits right in with like one duck. <laughs> one duck. <laughs> and uh, what else did I do? I did vacuum cleaner simulator at some point, I think. Vacuum cleaner simulator? I think so. I think How did you not know called. that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because, because you're not really like a. Uh, well, you don't really play like a vacuum cleaner, a <laughs> traditional vacuum cleaner. You play a robot <laughs> vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play a traditional vacuum cleaner in this vacuum cleaner simulator. <laughs> it's a little bit more avant-garde. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's so a, it's a you, so you're like a Roomba. Yeah, I'm a Roomba. I guess oh, yeah, it's that's a awesome. Roomba simulator. It's not that's as good really as it kidding. sounds. Oh. <laughs> you just roll around as a Roomba for like 15 minutes picking up random trash and then the game ends. Really? It, it has an still? ending. Yeah, it has credits. Wow. That's, uh... Huh. <laughs> yeah, but you can't imagine, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, mm. here's the boss room. If I can bomb. beat the boss, then I will have made it to the depths. I think you're in the depths, right? Yeah, I'm on the depths one. I've explored every single possible corner of this floor without getting to the boss. Just well, found the boss minutes. in the last place. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I have time at this point to get to the end. But yeah, I had a bunch of night rooms, so I spent an eternity on this floor. <laughs> oh good, Monstro 2. I don't think this will be too bad. It shouldn't be. J use your fucking laser. There we go. <laughs> you just wouldn't do it. Ah, goody. There we go. Now I should experience what you experienced. Mm. Yeah, you gotta stand really far inside her. More, more than you would think you can do without taking damage. It's surprising. Okay, I got you. How much room there is in the in the outer folds of her fleshy exterior? Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Me neither. Oh All right. goody! Oh good! <laughs> it's a fucking room with a turret in the in the middle of a bunch of holes, so it's really hard to hit him. And it mm -hmm. the room is full of moving spike blocks. That's good. Yeah, this is a fun time. Oh, we almost got him. Come on. Oh, don't hit him while he's down, though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this I is think I'll keep moving. This is bad. Oh, get him! Yes! Alright. <laughs> Took a lot of damage. Oh, here. man. I'm taking a lot of damage here, too. Yeah, Gertie really hurt me a lot. I ended up, at the end, I had to, uh, I, if I got too close, I would have died. So I just ended up right. letting a, um, a green nub kill Gertie for me and just standing in the corner. Right. So if you oh get a green God. nub, if you get a green nub spawn, that's, the, let it live. It is your one hope yep. of survival. Yep. Yep, I definitely hear you there. Man, I'm so lucky I have a bad trip pill on me, because... Otherwise, this run would be very close to over. So, folks, uh, if you're interested in Grim Dawn, I, you can buy it on Elf. I think it's early access. Yes, you can buy mm -hmm. it on early access in Steam right now. Or uh, if you don't want to spend the money to do that, you can also wait until Titan Quest goes on sale. And it, and it goes on sale quite often, actually. 
Mm -hmm. And a lot of the gameplay mechanics are, s are very, very similar. In fact, I might almost call it Titan Quest reskin. Hmm. Okay. Like, like for example, I think in you were talking, you've gotten to the point in Grim Dawn in which you can find the various knickknacks on the floor and combine them to form other knickknacks, right? Oh yeah, that was like right away. Yeah, that's exactly the same as Titan Quest. Okay. So on yeah, that's an interesting uh, system. It's like. Like, you know how in Diablo, for the viewers, that is, uh, you get the socketables that you put into your weapons to make them better. You have those in Grim Dawn, but you have, like, sets of them. And if you, you, if you like, combine a full set, then you get a cool effect on that socketable. Mm -hmm. Which is neat. I like it. I yeah, I'm really looking may... forward to multiplayer in that game. Oh, yes, that's going to be real fun. I may have almost a hundred hours in Titan Quest. Yeesh. I'm just saying. <laughs> that is, uh, that's some intense oh, no. Titan questing. I killed the green nut. The green nut. No, oh, it was your lost. one friend. I know. Your one friend in this cruel world. Oh my god. This fly came out and immediately ravaged me from the, uh, from the shell man. I've been in this Gurdy room this entire time. Come on, Gurdy. I should play this machine over here. Because I do have a bad trick, though. Let me get to the death. I, we only have yes. three minutes plus left. Got a blood bag. Oh, we only have three minutes? Okay, what am I doing fucking around the arcade? Three minutes, yeah. I am an idiot. Okay, uh, what floor are you on? Uh, I'm still in the caves, too. I'm still fighting Gurdy. Okay, so I stand to win, so maybe I should just hang out in the arcade. Yeah, me, you might as well. I'm <laughs> going to be in this room for the next three minutes, I'm quite sure of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, that is a long boss. This was an interesting challenge. I really like the way it changed my playstyle. I love I love challenges like this, even if they're you know a little bit weird sometimes. It's just mm -hmm. so, so much fun playing Isaac in a totally different way. Yes, for sure. Helps me get into the game. Even if I do spend five minutes fighting one zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, okay. I think I'm doing this all wrong. I should be hanging out around her front, not around her back. Oh my god. There we go. I'm going to die though. I'm almost sure that I'm going to die here. You shouldn't have killed your friend, go. man. Yep. You dead? Yep. Yep, I did die. So, uh, right. uh, Well, I, I just walked say... into a room full of zombies. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll just outro us. Thank you guys for watching <laughs> another episode of The Binding of Isaac Head to Head. This was a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to see Green vs. Zen, you should go to Zen's channel. I Have we even recorded that one yet? We shouldn't have. Well, yeah, I, we haven't recorded that yet. Yeah, cr chronology is getting a little bit weird for us because I am about to leave on a trip and these are going up while I'm on the trip? Yeah, while I'm on the trip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we were recording this pretty early. So I have no idea what we're going to be playing for Green vs. Zen. But it should be fun, and you should go and check it out on Zen's channel. There will be a link in the description as well as, you know, telling you what game it is. So future me knows a lot more about things than present me. You should listen to him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, while you're over on Zen's channel, you should also go check out the rest of his videos. He should by that time probably have some goat simulator <sighs> action going on. So check that out and subscribe to him while you're over there. And of course, you are on Green's channel. Be sure to subscribe to him and check out his other videos. Uh, you're doing Dark Souls currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm doing like a, a pre-release of Dark Souls 2, like Dark Souls 1 playthrough to get hyped up for that. It's a good time. For the for the PC version, just be before mm -hmm. somebody starts nitpicking at you. Yeah. Because I, I'm sure people are out there who would do that. It's the internet. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Of course <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is out on the console. Sorry, I thought you meant the PC version of Dark Souls 1. I was like, yep. Yeah. yeah it is. No, yeah, Dark Souls 2 has not come out on the PC, and a lot of people are still you know, wary of spoilers, myself included, so I thought it would be fun to do some Dark Souls content that was not spoilery. Yeah. But anyway, that's enough of an outro, I think. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week with more head-to-head, -head, more green versus end. Bye, guys. Bye.